my weight, perfect. Mm. Oi, right, Josh, did you see me miss? <laughs> that was good, that's the fish we came for. Yeah. Hold it up, Lucas. Check out this water. And it's like three o'clock. And it's just been glass all day. <laughs> this never happens in Australia. <laughs> Oh my god, this view is absolutely incredible. So, we just got back in from day diving out on the boat. The target of the day was Walu, Spanish mackerel. Lucas managed to get one pretty much straight away. And we struggled, but in the end we came good. And uh, we're having Walu for dinner. It's a good day. The glassiest conditions ever. Woo. And we're going for a trek. And we'll see you up on top. Did you so much better? It's like Jurassic Park here. Literally. It sort of looks a bit... Holy crap. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, the 
potato salad, uh, salmangi, and the beautiful walu from today. Mm. Yeah, miti. And also, and pineapple. As your meal, Carl. Really nice. Thanks for the catching. <laughs> Thanks for coming with us. It was an awesome day. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Mm. You're an awesome guy. <laughs> we love you, Carl. <laughs> what do you think, Lloyd? Mm. Beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. And welcome back to another episode of Nova's Adventures. If you're just tuning in, this is our final day on Waia Island in the Yasawas. We've stayed with the local spearfishing guide slash spearfishing legend Joshua and yesterday he took us out on his boat which is just over there. We went out with Aku and Joshua. Aku went fishing and Joshua put us onto the mackerel. We went out to a pinnacle which is over that way and uh, yeah it was on for the walu as, <clears throat> as they call mackerel in Fiji walu it's been an awesome place to stay uh, the Fijian hospitality once again has been nothing short of amazing but I just wanted to also use this opportunity to uh, just advise anyone who is watching this and thinking of coming spearfishing or diving or surfing in the Pacific Islands try and bring extra gear with you because it's really expensive here not only is it gear more expensive it's there's their wages are lower and the gear is more expensive so it really makes stuff that we take for granted uh, quite unaffordable and uh, the locals really depend on fish for for their food and why not when they have such an abundant resource out the back out on their doorstep so we brought with us a full bag of rigging gear gloves masks snorkels things like that are just really helpful um, because they make do with what they have but uh, certainly can help them out a lot by just even secondhand rubbers and stuff like that goes a long way so we just did a bit of a rigging session with Joshua um, sort of helped him fix up some of his gear because he's been spearing Walu with one rubber that's on its way out. So yeah, that's been a really awesome end to the trip and we'll see you on the next island. Cheers. Ooh, failed. Dale, Ako, Mode, Soda Dale.